What's good YouTube? This is Jay Blue. I'm here to talk about all the Lyft drivers I just referred. I'm really, really happy for all of you. I hope you're satisfied with all the incomes that you've made so far, all the goals that you've achieved, and just in general, all the work that you put in, all the time that you did, and for the rental bonuses that you guys made. I hope that you guys are happy about that. But I want to congratulate Eric Elton, Robert Ethan, Christine Morales, and Jenny for reaching their goals. If you want to drive for Lyft, don't forget to use my code. It's JAY10574. If you want to work with me, let me know. Holler at me at my Instagram at J underscore blue underscore three. So it's J A Y underscore blue B L U E underscore three. See that? This is us. We made the bonus. I want to congratulate her so much. She's been going through a lot of things and with the career that she created, that she joined with Lyft was really, really motivating and just seeing her work for herself and following what she wants to to do for herself it's really motivating i wish that other people can see it as well i just want to say thank you for all those people that believed in yourself that believed in god and that believed that you can you can do it if you are interested okay. in driving for lyft don't forget to use my code as soon as you use my code j10574 it's gonna pop in my screen and it's gonna look like this. Like this. I can see all of you over here. This is like the 12 people that I referred. They're still working on their goals. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not giving up on you guys. I'm not giving up on nobody. You haven't seen me give up on anyone else. And whenever you guys do contact me about stuff, I, I, I email you as soon as I can or I, I reach out to you you know it may take a while because you're not the only driver that just signed up for a lift and you're not the only person I'm helping out but I definitely will get back to you okay so I, I don't have a phone number on my Instagram but I do have an email access where you can email me right here I don't know if you can see it right there you see an option right here and email you can email me send me send me questions or anything you want to learn about lift and um, I'll definitely try and reach out back to you as soon as I can, okay? I have been asked about this, and I'm not even sure if it's the same process for everybody else, but for others, I might have heard them say that um, Lyft offers you a vehicle if you don't have a car. And um, the process of that is signing up through the app, and it gives you an option either to drive your own vehicle or you drive with a rental vehicle that they can provide for you. So when you do choose a rental, keep in mind that you can't have an express pay. You have to wait weekly to get paid. If you drive your own vehicle, you can always have express, uh, express pay. And I think you have to pay about like 25, 50 cents each time you want to deposit your money, right? Okay, so rental fees. I heard some people are paying about 96 a week. I'm paying 200 a week and others are paying 209 a week. I'm, I'm not sure how each branch is worked, but with me, because I reach a certain amount of rides, a certain amount of rides each week, it automatically pays for the rental uh, program that I have with Lyft. With the programs, there will be an offer that will require you to complete 85 rides for $130 and then 105 rides for <clears throat> excuse me $180 and then 150 rides for $350 305 or $350 so with the rental agreement that I have which is 200 a week will cover will be covered by that 305 and then with whatever that's left over goes to my paycheck. So if you're interested, I know it seems like it's a lot to do a week. It's a lot of work, a lot of time, but guess what? The more work you put in it, the more comes to you. I always tell all the people that I referred, you either work for yourself and you follow your dream or you work for someone who's following theirs. 
Christine Morales, congratulations on your bonus. I hope you're excited for it. And I hope that you, you continue to um, continue to, to drive for the Lyft community and that we're really, really, really lucky to have you. Okay, thank you for your dedication and giving a safe ride to each reli reliable rides. And um, I hope that you reach your, your goal and that you become more experienced and self-explanatory about this uh, new career that you have. And that way you can carry on and pass it on to, a, to other people about it. Um, really, thank you for all the dedications to all the Lyft drivers that signed up under my code. You guys know about my story. And the reason why I chose Lyft out of all the out of all the careers that I've had before it's because not only that you get paid weekly I'm not just talking about money wise but they take care of you when you need something they're always there for you and these people are very friendly not only that they're friendly but they get to know you they actually talk to you they listen to you and as it, as you are waiting for help they are actually getting to know you and they never forget about you you know, once you once you met somebody, they'll be like, oh, I remember you, you're Jay, blah, 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 you know? And um, one thing I remember is that every time I walk in the building, the Lyft and the, um, the Lyft community is always like happy to see people. They're always happy to help. They're always happy to be there for you, you know? So I just wanna say thank you so much for the Lyft community and for the Hertz crew. We got we got Diamond, we got Serena, we got man, I forgot the names, I'm so sorry, but thank you guys for all your help and um I hope that we earn more drivers every single day and that they choose to drive for Lyft for a purpose, not just because of making money. But of course that's gonna be one of it for most of the time, probably ninety percent of it, you know what I'm saying. As far as me signing up for Lyft, the reason why I chose it is because when I was homeless, I realized how hard it was making money nowadays until Lyft was introduced to me by my best friend, um, Janelle Antonio. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, when she introduced that to me, I decided that, hey, I should check it out and just try, you know. Don't get me wrong, I was a badass driver. I couldn't even tell which left and right and what where do I go whatsoever, especially in San Francisco, man. There's a lot of highways, one way, man. It was scary as hell. I'd be making some mistakes and I'd just be like, sorry. And um I was homeless before I started driving for Lyft and with the experiences I've had before, it was quite hard to to manage because you you can be overworking yourself so much and only getting paid by the hour and not only that but I had to pick another job to make sure that I get a little bit more money but I was tiring myself a little bit more just to earn just a little bit with the lift opportunity it, it, it created a major impact in me because not only that I'm just driving for lift I'm actually having my own time, my own schedule, and I'm not worried about calling off for work. I'm not worried about, you know, people calling off and I have to come in for them. I'm just actually my own boss. And of course, coming from a, um, you know, a homeless situation, I find this Lyft community as a uh, huge impact on my life because not only that I get to talk to different people, I get to listen to their stories, they listen to mine and no matter how mad customers get and how how you know sometimes they don't even want to listen to you but at the end of that ride I always get this this impression that they're so thankful that I share the story that I have to them and they always thank me for for having them and for for allowing me to kind of tell them that it's not as bad, it's not a bad day, you know? A lot of people come inside the car and then automatically just have a bad day. Every time I speak to them and I talk to them, some of them don't even want to talk to you. Don't get me, you know. 
some of them don't even want to talk to you but there's never a passenger that has not talked to me by talking to other people it's actually a coping skills that i had picked up and it helped me throughout my journey not to only become as a driver for lyft but to become as a motivator and as a um as a um person who would lift spirit up whenever negative vibe comes in or whenever you know i feel that something is going bad or something's going wrong with my driver's experience i've learned to listen to other people i've learned to be more friendly i've learned to share my stories to other people and that they are willing to listen regardless of how their day is going and they are actually like very very friendly and they make connections as you you know as you pick up from passenger to passenger and it's not it's not easy it's not easy to have somebody talk to you if they don't want to talk to you but I've never had a situation where they didn't want to talk to me and to me I felt very relieved because I never had that when I was homeless I was always going from job to job I didn't have a place to stay I didn't have anything or nobody to go to and um, with this lift club I, I I was man I can't even tell you like I had I had I had nothing and I'm, I'm really really happy and I just want to say thank you to everybody um, man for most part though to to diamond and to Sharina for always hooking it up with the cars and you know message just my situation and you know I'm still going through it and even though even though it's really hard um, man I wouldn't be in this situation. I wouldn't have my own place. I wouldn't have a car. I wouldn't have all these cameras and all of these things. I wouldn't even have a place for me and my dog to sleep in. So if, if it wasn't for you guys being so helpful and being there just for me, not just for me generally, but also for helping other people because, you know, they do need to see how, how helpful you guys are when it comes down to your um, customers and that you guys make everybody feel like a family and um I, it's a, I really we we're really blessed to have you guys as a, as a um as an associate working for Lyft and Hertz and um yeah so that's pretty much it that I have to share to you and um I just really want to thank you guys so much and um I don't know how to say thank you. Just, man, I'm so happy. Thank you, Liv. Um, I can't even. Thank, thank you. Just thank you. And um, thank you for the jacket, by the way, and for this card. Thank you so much. And um. I hope to see you guys next time and don't forget guys come and join us all right come and join us at the 1k club and um, use my code if you're interested for driving for a lift it's uh, JAY10574 see you guys next time Deuce.